What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D. Too Wild, checking in once again on the Too Wild for TV show, man. You already know what it is. Now, I've been seeing this video floating around for quite some time, for the past two, three days, some people talking about it as well, and I wanted to kind of react to it myself because I wanted to get my own honest opinion and thoughts about this, but police, uh, teenager targeted for his shoes in brazen attack inside the Bronx bodega. It's been a long time since I've seen someone, and not saying it doesn't happen every single day, but it's been a long time since I've seen on the news someone either like killed or attacked over their shoes, you know, especially with the lack of lines being formed with sneakers, people not being able to, you know, the, the, being raffled instead of lines and people getting to fight in the lines or someone getting robbed on their way out from the sneaker store or that raffle has somewhat kind of stopped a lot of that or slowed it down at least. Um, but now there's a video out of a teenager that was supposedly targeted for his shoes. I'm hearing that he was possibly stabbed or that he, you know, that he was or was not, but there's video of him getting beaten. I wanted to kind of watch some of that. It is a lot of it blurred out. It is on the news. I will leave a link down below in the description about this, and you guys can go and formulate your own opinion also, or, or formulate your own opinion down below in the comment section. So, I said comment, comic. I don't know what I said, comment section. Let me take this off. By the way, salute to everybody who uh, hooked your boy up on that pool. We jumped in that pool in the last video. I know I haven't been going live a lot lately. I'm going to try to get that back and popping. I've just been very busy doing a lot of stuff for the wedding. I got to do some suit stuff today. So I wanted to get out some content for you guys and girls out there. So uh, let's check this one out. Brazen attack inside a Bronx. Brazen. What the fuck does brazen mean? I don't, I don't, I'm, look, man, let me just look it up. Sorry if I don't know a simple word. I just never have said brazen in my life. Brazen. Bold and without shame. Okay. Bodega, the NYPD says a teenager was stabbed as two men stole the shoes right off his feet. CB so he was stolen. Let me stole, uh, stab. This is Kevin Rincona's new video of the attack and spoke with. I have an opinion already before going into this video because I have and I haven't seen it yet. I've seen clips, but I'm going to watch this whole thing and then I'm going to still see if I have that same exact opinion. The worker who saw it all unfold. Here inside this bodega at the corner of Decatur and East 195th Street. Decatur where is greater. This is like in New York though, right? But it, yeah, I'm from Decatur in Atlanta. Things in Georgia took a violent turn Sunday morning behind the counter. In this surveillance video, you can see two suspects throwing just about anything they can find at a 17 year old. Police say the suspects were after the teenager's shoes. Everything put on the floor over there. Everything over here on the floor. Marino is a cook here. He says it was chaotic. The two people want to come over here and then she got a fire over here, got a knife over here. She got a chop like three times. The two workers tried to help as they pushed the suspects away, but they still managed to take the shoes and ran off. After that intense struggle, the teenager was able to get out of the store. Police say he was taken to the hospital in stable condition. Customers, they were left shocked to hear about what happened. Shaking my head. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. For a pair of sneakers, I mean, you know, I can understand somebody trying to hurt you physically, they try to protect yourself, but for a pair of sneakers, that's dumb. Police are now asking for the public's help releasing these photos Okay, so police are now asking for the public's help. I might be in fun when I say this. I'm gonna break everything down, but you see the bottom of this, it looks yellow. These are like some old pair of shoes. Releasing these photos of the suspects in the Bronx, Kevin Rincone, them CBS. Boys go, them, boys, them, boys, them, boys, them boys got a straight up they, they face is straight up like bruh. Clear cut picture in 4K. Now, you wanna know my, my honest opinion on this? I don't think they went in there to steal this kid's sneakers. Looking at this picture right here, right? Looking at this kid, looking at that one picture, the, the bottom of the sole looked yellow as hell. It looks like it's an older version of the car mines. That's one. That's not reason why, though. Two, he's at work. You can see he was wearing red, and the, his, his, his manager was wearing red as well. So I just personally do not see, and I could, I could be wrong here, but I personally do not see this kid is wearing brand new car mines that released this year at work at a pizza spot or at a bodega where he's cooking and working on his feet. I mean, I'm not wearing no clean brand new shoes there. That's two. Now, that's not that's not to say that they could be busted up and they still wanted them. My honest opinion of what happened is that these guys that went in there must have known that guy had some sort of vendetta, wanted to beat the shit out of him. And they just took his shoes off his feet as a sign of disrespect. Beat the shit out of him. It's like beating someone up and robbing them. Beating them up and taking the money out their pocket. And that's like, you know, I don't think they went in there, saw his shoes, said, you know what? Hey, I want them motherfuckers. Take them off your feet. And they rob them. 
they knew Buddy. They probably knew where he worked. They went up in that bitch because he did something to him, beat him up, stabbed him, and threw everything, just destroyed us. They tried to do this, try to disrespect him as much as possible. And then was like, you know what? Take this nigga's shoes too, bitch. Like, you know, strip, you know, you know, you know, people used to strip people butt naked, fucking take their money, take their chain, you know, something like that. Like, that's what came along with it. It wasn't like premeditated. We're gonna go in here and steal those car mines off his feet. That's my opinion though, at the end of the day. It could be completely wrong. But that's just the way I looked at it. Does this take away from anything? Nah, it doesn't take away from anything. It's a fucked up situation. It's going on all throughout the whole entire country. But the reason why I even break it down this way is because when you do stuff like people getting robbed or people getting shot or people getting killed and you put the word sneakers, it brings that rep to like the sneakerhead community, right? And what I'm just trying to, what I'm trying to differentiate here is it, we, I'm trying to remember what situation this was in very, it was something similar that happened like this before and Kind of had the sim. I had the similar type of argument, you know. But what I'm trying to say is, Nike could see this, or or Foot Locker could see this, or uh, your sneaker bo boutique in your neighborhood could see this and take this as a, oh, I don't need to do lineups no more. Oh, I don't need to do anything. I just need to do raffles and online only because people are getting robbed and killed over their shoes. When in reality, this has nothing to do with them trying to steal his shoes because of what he was wearing, but because they had a personal vendetta with him. You get what I'm saying? So let, let me give, let me try to give like an analogy that's very different. But what I'm I'm trying to break down is as best as possible. If I have an iPhone and I have my iPhone in my pocket, you know what I'm saying? And I get beat up and someone steals my iPhone. They beat me up and they take my iPhone because they just going through my pockets. But the news story is. Man gets man gets robbed for iPhone and an iPhone and there, you get what I'm saying? That it's, it's, I don't think it was the direct source of that fight. I don't think that the fight was because of the sneakers. I think the fight was because they had a personal vendetta with that guy. I think they knew who that kid was. So what I'm basically saying is this news story could prevent someone's mother or someone like you don't need to buy no shoes. You see what happens when you buy nice shoes? Somebody robs you because of those shoes. Like. That's the type of fear it's going to put into people's hearts. Now, I ain't saying that motherfuckers ain't robbing people because they got nice kicks. I've seen it happen firsthand back in middle school. I'm not saying it's not happening. I'm just saying in this situation particularly, I don't think that was the case. But correct me if I'm wrong. This is my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying? Um, glad to see that the guy is in stable condition. The teenager, he, does not, he did not deserve to get stabbed over some shoes or at work. But um, I just believe there's more to the story here. But I'm glad that he's a, he's alive. I'm glad that he's okay. Um, let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. You, if you see what if you get what I'm what I'm saying, I I don't know. I think I, I, that's just the way I look at it. I'm I'm trying to remember what situation this was very similar to where something happened and we was like, nah, don't try to blame the sneaker community. Don't try to. It was something similar. Like don't try to put this on about shoes. It's about something else. But you, it was something recent, bro. I'm gonna go. Let me let me just look and let me just look through my goddamn YouTube real quick. I just want to see if I can find it, bro. It was a topic similar to some situation like this. Maybe Zaya might know. Let me call Zaya. Let me see. Cause I feel like we all talked about this. I don't want to see if I can remember it. I'm going through like everything right now, trying to see. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to be able to find it because I don't remember what it was. If I ever do, I'll make sure to let you guys know. I can't remember what it was, but it was something along that matter, bro. Something along that matter. Well, I'm out, guys. I love y'all. Hit that like, comment down below. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions. And uh, yeah, peace.